So we have this expectation that our kids should come to us, yet we're not willing to go first. We're not willing to create an environment where our kids feel safe to do that. So we don't realize that we're creating this false strength that our kids need to adopt. And therefore they don't know how to be vulnerable, which is, which is being human. So I think we have a responsibility, a moral responsibility within reason. Okay, I'm not asking to download our bank balance and all the worries you have, but within reason to allow our kids to see our humanity. And when we do that, they will return and reciprocate that in their own time. And people often wonder when their kids become teenagers, oh, it's a teenager thing, it's puberty, it's whatever, that's why my kid doesn't talk to me anymore. No, it's because maybe partly is that you just haven't create, created an environment along the journey so when the 15-year-old or the 13-year-old or the 12-year-old has a struggle, they're not willing to come to you and they, they keep it private. Now, there's always going to be maybe a little bit of that, but I, I really believe that we uh, have a beautiful opportunity to connect with our kids through the lens of being real and vulnerable and open with them.